Hey, this is uh, Stephen Neshevin. I'm here to help you out with just setting up a calculation for a uh, getting energy of activation. So uh, we're going to try uh, uh, methyl bromide. So I've already selected this uh, in the organic menu. And uh, so I'm going to have a, a, a methane right there. And then I'm going to switch to uh, getting a bromide uh, right over here on this side. So that's going to be one reactant. And then I'm going to have another reactant, which is another bromide. And I'm taking the hydrogen off. And that's fine. It's more or less lined up the way I want it to do. But um, the way uh, uh, it's recommended to do this is to guess the transition state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this bromide and then click on um, this carbon. And then I'm going to click on this carbon again. And this is to indicate that some electrons are going to try to uh, attach themselves, form a bond there. I'm going to do that again. I'm still in this make transition state mode. But now I'm going to click on this bond and click on that oxygen, uh, uh, bromine, and then do that. Okay, so now I think I know where the electrons are going. And as you will have seen, that there's this guess that search for transition state appears there. And it's now kind of moved it more or less into the positions that we want. And uh, I'm going to do one more thing, which is go to this uh, constrained um, constrain positions, uh, uh, constrained uh, distance. And uh, I'm going to do two distances. So this one to this one. And I'm going to click on this. And I want a profile. And... Um, and I'm just going to enter a starting distance here. And uh, I have to remember what that starting distance is. So that I want it to be the van der Waals distance of 3.53 and then 1.94. So 3.53, which is already about there, 53 and uh, 1.94 for that distance. Okay. And we can do steps of 10, you know, or you could do steps of 20 if you like. Um, and uh, the, uh, the, um, there will be another distance that I want to constrain here, uh, which is, I'm going to click on that bond. You can, you can do that too. And now I want to go from uh, a profile 1.93 up to uh, our final distance, which was 353. So up to 353. Okay, so I'm I'm all good here, but the last thing now we'd have to do is go up to this uh, icon up here, and I don't want transition state geometry. You have to remember to select the energy profile. Um, it's, it seems to be pretty reliable to go through the B3 lip mode, and also the total charge on this is an anion, and uh, and so that's that's how we go, and uh, then you will just submit there. And after that, we can talk about how to analyze the results.